Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Contemporary Resort and we are going to be getting a sneak peek of the new check-in lobby area along with Steakhouse 71 because all the construction walls are down but also we are going to head over to the Grand Floridian Resort and try some spooky treats like the Jack Skellington Pumpkin Pie Cake Pop which sounds so amazing and enjoy a wonderful day here at the Magic Kingdom Resort Loop. Anywho's, let's go do this. We're gonna head right on into the Contemporary and check out the new lobby, but I wanted to point out the new 50th anniversary doormats. These are so beautiful. I mean, I love the Contemporary ones. I think those are my favorite out of all the doormats at Walt Disney World, but I do like these a little bit. And we're just gonna stroll right in. Mask is on. Oh boy, I can already see the murals. Wow, this is amazing. Look at that. The first thing that I noticed as soon as I walked in the doors is the fifth leg on the goat. And that is such a classic touch right there. I love Mary Blair. I'm not the biggest fan of the ride Small World, but I do love the artwork from It's a Small World. And we'll see if we can spot any other things in here as well. Fun fact, the main reason this is right here in the middle of the Contemporary is because this is one of the structural beams for the monorail. A lot of people don't know that, so it's very important that it's here or else the monorail wouldn't be actually going through the Contemporary. And I like that they added the five-legged goat to that. You know what I mean? The five-legged goat is a part of the monorail. I came to the other side to give you a look downwards and they actually took out some of the check-in areas right here and added more seating and some nice artwork right there on the wall and everything behind the check-in desk is like pictures of the monorail and the contemporary so I'm going to try to give you guys a look at that once we get over there and there aren't people actually waiting to check in. A lot of the lobby reflects the original concept art for the contemporary from the 1960s even the room designs like what the contemporary was supposed to look like and i kind of wish that actually happened because some of it looks so so cool these pieces right here are some of the concept arts from the 1960s and doesn't it look cool like i would love to have like a round shaped bed like that that would be so amazing and even seeing like the monorail and all the different designs inside the lobby it's a really cool experience just to see what could have been you know they do have a separate wall all dedicated just to mary blair and it's actually where the kids would sit down and watch the tv and that's really awesome that they kept the little kid tv there but it's not just for kids i mean i sit down and watch the tv there sometimes as well looks like they're playing some of the newer mickey shorts and right here is the mary blair wall and look at that isn't it so pretty i love the furniture in here i mean this is i mean i always loved the contemporary like i said but this kind of furniture just looks so nice kind of gives me like that 70s vibe to it you know what i mean also take a look at this piece right here the contemporary and i learned that a lot of these uh pieces of art are original concept art that walt disney seen himself like i believe they said that this one is and also the uh, inside of the contemporary was an original concept art and i think that is just so cool like honestly look at how old the cars look actually when they're coming into the contemporary there like this is the original thought behind it I have a t-shirt with that same exact like monorail coming out of the contemporary. I should have wore that today because it would have been very fitting, but I love it. And then also I found a hidden Mickey. Right on the other side of the five-legged goat mural, they have a little hidden Mickey right here. Look at that. And also a bear. They also have this very impressive mural right here and another seating area and the furniture like I said is really really awesome. You can always tell what a good resort is like by the furniture in the lobby and I wonder if these pillows actually move. <gasps> they do. Oh they're strapped down. That's important. That is very important. <laughs> but I like it. I'm gonna sit down on it and test it out though. Yes yes it's very very comfortable and nobody's gonna be stealing any of these pillows. We got them locked down. And you can just see all of the check-in area from right here. I think it's so nice. I am really loving it. And I love the carpet as well. Now I want to take a look at Steakhouse 71. I can't go inside of the restaurant, but I can get a good look from it uh, from the outside. And it looks so beautiful from here. 
I really love all the different Walt Disney pictures when you're walking in. I think I can go up to probably right here, but take a look at that. The Florida Project. How about that retro Walt Disney World sign right there on the trailer? And I can't wait to actually sit down at the lounge again. It's gonna be so good. And it looks like the blue rooms are gone. I mean, unless they actually have a different lighting effect. Though, the blue rooms might be back, who knows? And they actually kept that like wave glass display there. So that is really nice. So there's gonna be a lot of good touches to the wave, I bet. And I'm excited to eat here. Like I am, this is probably my most anticipated restaurant actually. It officially opens October 1st and sadly I don't have a reservation they went so quick and I don't have a reservation at all so I'm looking actually and keep on checking every single day to see if I can get one at least for the opening week and nothing yet you know what I mean and I've always loved the wave so it's gonna be like a tradition to always come here and it was always a tradition for our first stop on the monorail crawl and it's gonna probably still be you know what I mean except for instead of the wave it's the steakhouse 71 I also appreciate how the 71 is kind of like in a contemporary-ish style and you can see actually right here they have a photo of the contemporary actually being built. Like isn't that amazing? I'm loving all the history inside here. That's the coolest thing because I've always been kind of curious on how things actually came about and just seeing them actually insert their rooms because you can see it right here into the contemporary. I think that is so awesome. Take a look at this nice seating area right here. It's kind of like a dining room table that you can just kind of relax with your family as you wait to check in or if your room's ready. Right here is cast member only. This is behind the check-in area and you can actually get close to some of the concept art. And this actually looks like a people mover right here, doesn't it? That is so awesome. I love seeing all of this right here. Look, that is a people mover. That is really amazing. I, I know uh, it's hard for me to describe things other than just amazing, but I mean, it is. It's just, this kind of looks like Spaceship Earth. Wow. Take a look at some of the artwork on the other side of the lobby. Two of these paintings are original Andy Warhols, like original ones. Can you imagine how much they cost? I, I, I mean, I like art, but like this is like some very expensive pieces here and they just kind of have it right in the lobby and it kind of fits perfectly. It is Disney's contemporary resort, you know what I mean? Now I'm gonna head upstairs and I was gonna take the escalator, but I hear they actually redid the elevator. So I guess we'll take the elevators up. Oh my Lord, look at these elevators. <gasps> I love it, wow. That is so awesome. Okay, ooh, and they smell nice too in here too. Okay, we're gonna go to the third floor. Bada bing. This is cool. Look, you can see a little monorail. A monorail in an elevator. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see if Mamie talks. Now I made my way up to the main level here, and you can hear a lot of construction on the room still, and I figure we'll hop the monorail and take it over to the Grand Floridian so we can try our spooky desserts. They have a couple of them over there. Uh, maybe I should check to see if they have any spooky desserts here at the Contempo Cafe as well. I'm just excited for the Jack Skellington pumpkin pie cake pop. I mean, that sounds so cool. A pumpkin cake pop. Like, why hasn't Starbucks got on this yet? Lots and lots of construction still going on, like I said. And here's the original Mary Blair uh, mural that you see so much influence down in the main lobby there. I'll try to point out the uh, extra late goat when we get up here, but isn't that just so, it's so amazing, right? It's like, it's such an iconic piece for the contemporary. It doesn't look like they have any spooky desserts here. They do have dirt and worms cupcake. And then of course they have the Cinderella cupcake. And this one I think has a pumpkin fondant to it. Yeah, it does. And then the cookies and cream one. And I like that because there's a monorail there and a couple of other cookies and different snacks like a peanut butter pie. But oh, I like that Mickey and Minnie. So I think we'll just head over to the Grand Floridian. There's really not a lot of spooky treats at the resorts this year. Like I said, they're not doing anything here at the Contemporary and I doubt the Polynesian is. So it's nice to see the Grand Floridian is still doing them. Usually they have at least one thing. So I don't know if that dirt and uh, warms one is for Halloween. I think that could just be a regular like all year round thing. There he is right there. The five-legged goat. 
Looks like we're gonna have monorail silver. Hi, oh silver. I got the monorail all to myself. Look at this. I love actually having a little cabin. This only happens in the afternoon. It, you can never get a monorail by yourself at the end of the night or uh, when the park first opens. It's almost impossible. This is officially my first time stopping at the Polynesian for the monorail since they closed down and reopened. I can't wait to come back out and do a full monorail crawl again because now we can officially get on and off here. Before we were actually getting off at the TTC and walking to the Polynesian, but now we can make a full loop. And we have made it to the Contemporary. I don't know why as soon as I hopped off the monorail, I took my mask off when I actually just had to put it right back on because we're going inside the Grand Floridian. And I'm wearing my boo mask. Ooh. Looks like the Grand Floridian's got the nice 50th uh, floor mats or door mats too. I like them, they're real nice. And here we are, the Grand Floridian. Beautiful as always. Of course we have to stop the basin. You can't come to the Grand Floridian without stopping at basin, washing your hands, and checking out the new soap. They've got the Mickey Halloween soap. They've got the Remember Me. Ooh, and a pumpkin spice latte. $5.99. Actually, oh no, I already have two of these at home. And they destroy your soap dish. Everything gets black, but they're very, very nice and they smell great. They also have some bath bombs over here. Here's a cauldron bath bomb, a skull, an Ursula bath bomb. I bet you that turns the water like nice and purple. They also have some villain's body butter. Very fancy stuff. I think I'm gonna try the pumpkin sugar one right here. They also have the uh, Mickey Mouse body scrub. It's a cherry watermelon. But yeah, we're gonna do that. So with our hands first, bada boom. That's the stuff. Now the hands smell great. A little pumpkin-y, hey? <laughs> We're just gonna mosey on over to Gasparilla's and get ourselves our cake pop and maybe we'll try another dessert along with it. And I just love being at the Grand Floridian. It is such a beautiful day out right now. Like, oh, look at that. So amazing, isn't it? I'm gonna mobile order so we can have it ready. So I'll give you a look at all the Halloween treats that they have. And I think they have like four or five of them, which is like really amazing because none of the other resorts got anything. But here at the Grand Floridian, they got five spooky treats. They got the Jack Skeleton Pumpkin Pie Pop, a Hocus Pocus of Muck Cakes, the Bewitching Mini Moose, uh, Mini Mouse Cupcake, Mini Moose, how funny is that? And Sally's Stitched Up Whoopie Pie Heart. So I think we'll just keep it all Nightmare Before Christmas and get Sally's and Jack's uh, desserts. Wow, the view from outside Gasparilla's is so amazing. And the Grand One is back sitting here. So maybe we'll uh, walk over there and take a look at Grand Floridian's famous yacht. I've been super obsessed with the boats recently. You can rent out boats here as well. Just like I did the other day at the Contemporary. I actually rented out one of these pontoon boats and I got to drive it all around Seven Seas Lagoon. But right there is the Grand One, the Grand Floridian yacht that you can also rent out. But I don't know if they're doing that yet. And a straight shot of Cinderella Castle. Oh wow, look at it. It's all pumpkin themed in here. Oh, I love it. Oh, here's the... Uh, Jack Skellington pumpkin pie pops right there. And then that's gonna be my whoopie pie. This is really, really cool. And also you can see a lot more stuff back there. Definitely the season time in here. Here they are. Look at this. I'm loving the way the whoopie pie looks. I bet you that's gonna be delicious. And the presentation of the cake pop, well, the Jack Skellington pumpkin pie cake pop is really awesome. And it's huge. It's like the size of my fist. Like, it's not like a Starbucks cake pop. Like, this is a big, big pop. And it's $7.99, so that's kind of why. It doesn't really tell you anything about the flavors of the Whoopie Pie. It just says Sally's Stitch Work. And you can see Sally's Stitch Work there, but I would assume that it might be... I don't know, like what do you guys think, like blue raspberry? But that wouldn't mix well with a cake pop. I mean, <laughs> maybe it will be, I don't know. I guess we're gonna try this one first and then we'll try Jack's uh, pumpkin pie cake pop. There it is. I'm excited to dive into it. It looks actually so cool, but here we go. 
and it's definitely not blue raspberry. I, I definitely taste white chocolate in there and it's just so soft. Like the cake, like the whoopie pie cake is so soft. And like I said, the chocolate melts quick. And uh, when you take a bite on it, all the filling on the inside kind of comes out. So it's definitely something tricky to eat. It's already starting to fall apart here. You know, the more I eat it, I do taste like a blue something in there, like a kind of like a cotton candy. And yeah, I mean, I like it. I'll let you know which one's better, either that or Jack Skellington, but I love pumpkin. So I think pumpkin uh, cake pop is probably gonna win, but this is actually very delicious as well. So we're gonna move along and hop over to Jack Skellington and we gotta pour our little ribbon off. Ooh, so fancy. This was extremely hard to get out of the box itself, but I did it, look at that. So I don't know how I'm gonna go about just eating this. I think I'll just bite right on into it, but doesn't that look so cool? When I turned it upside down, the cake pop actually fell through. So now it's kind of hanging on and I'm pretty sure if I take a bite, it's just gonna fall apart. Or look, it already is falling apart. I think I'm just gonna pull it apart. Yep, there we go, that's the way. Kind of looks like a pumpkin muffin right in the middle there. <laughs> I guess I'll take a bite out of this side. Mmm, very pumpkin-y. Like a pumpkin pie almost with like white chocolate candy coating. This is good. <laughs> Honestly, I think I like uh, the whoopie pie better than Jack Skellington's pumpkin pie cake pop. That's such a tongue twister, isn't it? Jack Skellington's pumpkin pie cake pop. Jack Skeleton's pumpkin pie cake pop. Okay, I said it three times. Anyway, but I do like the whoopie pie. That was such a soft, like airy dessert. And this is very heavy. And uh, the pumpkin is very, very strong. So if you're not a big pumpkin pie fan, I wouldn't suggest getting the pumpkin pie cake pop. But <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I think the whoopie pie wins. Good job, Sally. And in case anyone wants to know where they can get these desserts, you can get them right here at Gasparilla Island, the quick service location at the Grand Floridian. And uh, yeah, I mean, for the price, the uh, Jack Skellington pumpkin pie cake pop was huge. Like honestly, like I said, the size of my fist, maybe three or four times the size of like Starbucks cake pops. So it's definitely worth it and people can probably share it. Now that we've had our spooky desserts, I want to kind of take a little gander over at the Grand One and see if we can see inside the yacht. I mean, it's really, really nice. It has a bed in there. Like, that is impressive. It is a beautiful day out. I wouldn't mind actually taking one of these boats out again just to kind of hang out there. And I like that you're so close to the Magic Kingdom over here. Like right over there underneath uh, the little bridge is where they keep the uh, electric water pageant. Actually, that's where it goes to bed or sleeps during the day and comes out at night. Look at that. Isn't it so beautiful? I can see maybe renting this out for a wedding and just kind of hanging out here. The bed is inside there. Now you can't go on it at the moment, but I can give you a good look here. It is a beautiful yacht. And look, you can just stare right at the castle. Pretty impressive. I like the music they got playing over here too. The Grand One Yacht is $400 an hour. $400 for one hour. And during firework time, it is $800. $800 for an hour. And I don't know how many people will fit on there. I would assume maybe 20 if a pontoon can hold 10. I mean, this has a, a two levels to it. So I would say like 20 or so, but $800. I mean, that's, that's, that's something else right there. Now I think we will hop back on the monorail and keep on moving along. Maybe stop at Magic Kingdom. I wouldn't mind taking a peek see and then make our way back over to the Contemporary. We're gonna hop in the elevator and I love how we can hear Wes playing the piano. Or maybe you can't because we're in an elevator. <laughs> but there he is. Isn't it just so beautiful in here? I love just coming and hanging out in here. And it's so crazy beautiful during Christmas time. I can't wait for Christmas this year. But first, Halloween. I'm very excited for Halloween. I'm gonna see if I can get a last minute reservation for Magic Kingdom just to stop in and say hello. I mean, we're gonna drive right past it. So might as well. Looks like we got Monorail Peach. I love it. It looks so beautiful, doesn't it? I don't think I've rolled in, in Monorail Peach in such a long time. 
there we go. And I want to try to show you guys before when I was saying underneath the bridge you can see the electric water pageant. And uh, we're going to actually drive right past it. All right, here they are right here. Look at them back there. Isn't that so cool? Now we are at the Magic Kingdom. I have to check the app to see if there's any available reservations before we get up there. But uh, I figured why not get off anyway. Even if I can't get in, I could uh, just kind of stare at it from the outside. Staring at it from the outside looking in. Ooh, look at Monorail Red coming in. I just love monorails. I love stopping and just looking at them. Majestic transportation they are. And we got one! Ooh, Pirates of the Caribbean is playing as we're walking in. I'm feeling great. Just for just stopping in real quick. I feel like, yeah, excited. What do you guys think about them taking away the Mickey pumpkins for the Cinderella carriages? Now, they actually had both of them just a couple days ago, and now it's all Cinderella carriages going through Main Street USA and the hub. Looks like we're just in time for the man himself. And like I said, we kind of just walked into the Magic Kingdom, went straight up to Cinderella Castle. We saw Mickey uh, and Minnie on the cavalcade, and uh, yeah, just happy to be here. The, the weather is perfect. And this is the last 50th statue that I have uh, yet to see, and here it is. Look at Tinkerbell right here. It's actually in a very like hidden spot. Like you wouldn't know to see it right here. It's right before you actually head into Liberty Square, and there she is up there. I'm thinking about grabbing a Mickey pretzel while I'm here. A you know, little Mickey pretzel hanging out on Main Street staring at pumpkins in the castle. Sounds like a wonderful time. Looks like we got some princesses coming through too. So we're going to actually eat our pretzel. Ears first, always. Everybody loves Mickey pretzels. And also I just realized I'm wearing my Beetlejuice shirt at the Magic Kingdom. How cool is that? A little Tim Burton in the Magic Kingdom. So cheers. We need to get moving along, but I want to stop in the Emporium because my mom and sister asked if I would actually go pick them up something for the 50th anniversary. And they had some magic bands I hear that came out that they really wanted. So we're going to see if they're actually in there or available or not sold out. Oh, and we got them. Look at that. Limited release. I think they just came out either today or with the most recent drop. I've seen the blue ones, but i never seen the castle ones. And my mom and sister both wanted them, so I was able to get them for them. I'm excited. Maybe it does have like a special effect. I'm sure they would like that a lot. I'll give you a closer look here. Here they are. Take a look at that. They're really pretty. Ooh. When the sun hits it a little bit, you see that reflection? Very, very nice. And they got the 50th castle at the bottom, the little 50th charm. So they're very, they're, they're very nice. And they're limited release. And they were $35. So I'm hoping maybe there's a special effect, especially on the 50th anniversary. That'd be cool. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to send them to them. Hopefully they'll get to use them sometime during the 50th because it is going to be running all year long. And maybe they might be back down before that. That would be so fun. Any who's, I think that is going to do it for me today. I had a lot of fun actually going around the monorail resort loop, going to the Grand Floridian, checking out the new Contemporary Lobby and Steakhouse 71. Hopefully I can get to Steakhouse 71 within the first week or so. Uh, I've been really up to beat. I think I've been at every single new restaurant opening or reopening on the same day or within that week. So uh, I'm not going to stop now. So Steakhouse 71 next time and I'm excited and uh, it was also great to come over to the Magic Kingdom, uh, have a Mickey pretzel, and get my mom and sister some magic bands. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!